Hey everybody, it's Mona. Um, just want to bring you a few things I worked on today. Um, I received in a wonderful rack, um, one of my SWAT partners was Lynn, um, Lynn B. And she was so generous and one of the things she gave me were these uh, chromatics uh, markers because I really have, don't have any. And I want to see what they're like before I try to make any investment in Copex because, you know, I'm just not that good. But, um, so I wanted to do this stamp. I bought this on eBay, um, I think the beginning of last summer. And she's an adorable little girl. And, um, so she was my practice. So, this is the first card. Here's the first card. Um, I hope you can see that. Um, I did her arms and face and feet with watercolor pencils and I'm hoping you can see that detail. I think that actually turned out pretty good. And then I did the her hair color and you know her dress and the seashells and the sand uh, with the markers. So um, I thought she turned out cute. Well, this is her at the beginning of summer. Oh, and my wicked sense of humor and this is her at the end of summer. Um, yeah, she got a tan, so that was good. And I just changed the color of the dress. Um, did not, I wasn't happy with the green that I picked for the darker colors. Um, but that's okay. I think she's still a cute little thing. So I did that. I'll put that up. And then, now this is probably old school for all y'all, but I made a toilet paper mini. I saw this the other uh, night. And I was scanning through how to learn how to do things. And um, this is the one I made. Uh, mine has four rolls. Um, the first thing I just want to show you is I put together this little um, charm with three pearls. One two white and one pink. And this little plastic butterfly. I don't know if you remember this from a haul or not. But this was on an end cap on sale. And there was a whole bunch of them in a pack. So I took it off the metal piece and put it on the chain. And I got it attached with a lobster claw. So, here is the first page. Um, this paper is called the Homespun Stack. I absolutely love it. Love it. Um, all the paper's textured. That's the first thing I like about it. So, um, but the colors are just bright and, yep, they're pinks, yellows, and greens. So, that's basically what I did. Um, you can barely tell, but I inked with gr uh, olive green um, chalk ink. Um, and this is the first page. What I did is I used this pad as a holder so what you do is you just push it back and here we go and there's the inside this one is permanent um, I kind of used the punch I got uh, from Lynn and cut out some of the papers now this one doesn't uh, come out so you can put something here and write on your new spot and same thing for this one um, you put something there and I love that paper, by the way. I, I try not to use too much of it. Um, so I can use it with something else that I have. So to close it back up, just take it, pinch it a little bit, <laughs> and take it in. Alright, and then everyone has every one of the pages has a tag. Now I just fell in love with these birdies. Um, so I, you know, cut them out, put a little ribbon here. And on the back, um, I left it blank to journal. And then I stamped, enjoy today, and that was off the Tammy, um, Amy Tangerine, you know, that roll stamp that everybody has. Um, I really did not like it that much. <laughs> it really didn't stamp clearly. And then I just put some trim and some uh, flat back, white. These are white flat back pearls, not the clear or the, um, um, the real soft blue ones. These are actually white, so. And then I put it back in. I think this was really hot like a year ago or something like that. But. And then on the back it's for journaling space, or I put a, um, this is a Memento Ink Rosebud. And then this is um, a stamp that says Smile and it looks like Scrabble. And that one did not stamp well. I mean, on any of them, you'll see it, they just did not stamp well. I don't know if it's the stamp, because that's um, the stays on black. Okay, well, here's the second page. And I used this big old button for the um, closure. And I tied a string around it, and if you watch, it's really going to be hard for me to do this on the screen. I tied it too tight this last time. I left a little slack in it the time before, 
you just pull it down. And then you flip this one up. And I didn't put anything on these pages because um, that's where pictures can go. But I just love that paper right there. I, don't know, I hope you can see it well. There we go. And that's green. And that's yellow flowers. Alright, and then this one, all the tags on the front are the birds. That, I kept the same. Tied a little ribbon here. And on this one, it says, I don't know if you can read it or not, it says remember. And again, put some ribbon, some trim, and the pearls. And I will treat my close that back up in just a second. And again, it's the back, all the same, they're all the same on the back. The camera, and I put a smile on it. And this one, now this um, little charm here, let's see if I can get this in for you, um, from Dee Dee, and I want to put it on there and I'll show you what's connected in a minute. But the stamp itself is also from her, and it says, Beyond the pages of photos and journaling are treasured memories of the heart. I hope you can read that. And then the little charm, I just connected it to two little tags. I stamped out of the uh, scallop stamper, and that way it can be journaled. And this, this is just a little straight pocket that I put it in. And then here's the birdies again. They're all different birds um, but from the same piece of paper. And this one says snapshot. Okay, and again. The back is just the camera, it's face to write or pitch picture, it's a smile. And then this is the last one. Now this one was the hardest, I'm going to tell you. So I take the string, and this is a um, brad that's been glued onto a paper clip. And the reason I put it there is so it could help close it, because it was really thick. But it, hopefully get this in view, opens up to four spaces. One, two, and four. So you got those four, and then on the back, there's room for one more or journaling. And I put one of my little flowers on there that I make. And then there's that brad again. So that's that. And like I said, all I do is I, if you can see this, take the string, wrap it around one time this way, uh -oh, and one time this way, and it holds it in place. And then this tag, I put the end, two more birdies, and I put family fun, a string of pearls, and uh, some uh, paper lace trim. It says created April 13th, I mean August, <laughs> August 13th, 2013. And I tied a little bow up here. Okay, so that's it. And then the back again is the same. There you go. I know, like I know, all y'all have done the um, the top over things, and I had these actually left over from the time we did Lydia's challenge. You remember the little top paper hanger thing that we did, and I had these left over. <laughs> so I thought, hey, I can do that. And I really like the charm of the beads. So there we go. So that's what I've been doing all day long, and I hope everybody. And that's it from the top. So. Um, hope everybody's having a good night, and um, Darla G, I watched your video, I was just laughing the whole time, people are crazy, and uh, to, uh, Carol, I am so glad it went well, I hope it was just like I said, um, so anyway, I'm glad, you know, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's going to come out normal, and uh, I'm just glad that it didn't kill you, <laughs> believe me, I've had a lot of women have had it done, so, anyway, alright, well thanks so much everybody, talk to you later, bye.